Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I want to talk about something I've kind of seen, kind of been this conversation, specifically related to like YouTube channels and more specifically YouTube names on YouTube. So like a lot of people, not a lot of people, I've, I've, I've just noticed that there are a few YouTubers that have kind of rebranded their channel. So before they might have like used like a specific username or whatever, and now they've kind of gone to starting to use their own name. Like a great example I use, and even this one is like a very old one, but this is an example I'll use is because I've watched him for a very long time is Philip DeFranco. For a while on a platform YouTube, he was known as Sexy Phil. That was his username, but then eventually it just, he's like, no, I'm, just, I'm Philip DeFranco, like, channel-wise. It's, it's stuff like that where I've noticed, like, a few YouTubers have kind of done that, and it kind of got me thinking about my channel in particular, because I have, like, you know, this name, Your Nerdgasm. To put in perspective for anyone, I came up with that, uh, 11 years ago when I, over 11 years ago when I started this channel, I was 20. I don't know, I, I was... I don't know, I, I thought I was being super clever when I came up with that name because I felt like it represents me that, hey, I'm this nerd and I'm going to talk about nerdy stuff as well as going to talk about myself and kind of be a little more vulnerable and open, something I'm not very good at being. And so, um, but also like I, I am the way I am. I get super hyped and super excited about nerd stuff and that's where it's kind of like, oh, you, you're you nerding out so much, you're orgasming. Like that, that was supposed to be the thing, right? And... You know, like I said, I was 20 at the time. Like, it's not like a situation of like, I look back and I still regret it. Like, oh man, I, oh, I hate this name, blah, 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 blah. It, it doesn't matter. It hasn't like had any negative impact, but I have had like two comments over the years, which I thought was interesting. One was in relation to someone being like, liking my content or whatever. And they were like, oh, God, I hate using that word like content sounds disgusting in my mouth uh but someone was like oh i like the things that you do and the stuff that you cover but don't you think like you would probably have more success if your name was different now once again it's just like no nothing disparaging against this person it just seems so interesting because i've literally never had anyone else bring up the fact that i would probably be benefiting like better if i had a different username and i just thought that was so interesting and i'm not saying like oh i'm some big channel where that's going to matter i'm still such a small fry and such a, a big pull i'm uh, you know a tadpole in this giant giant ocean that is YouTube. So that, you know, I'm not trying to equate that like, oh, maybe, but it did something. Maybe I would have more success. I doubt it, but whatever. The other time someone has ever brought up my username is I was doing a review of uh, Doom Patrol and I forgot what episode it was. It's not even a spoiler. It's the, it's the sex, it's the episode where Doom Manor has all those sex ghosts around. And someone was like, hey, this is the perfect Oh, you had the perfect username for this um, episode. And it had kind of got me thinking, like, would I ever rebrand this channel, like, using my own name? It's not like I've ever hidden, like, my name. I've, I think I've I've mentioned my name. If you're curious, my first name is Sean. My middle name is Michael. The only reason why I never put my full name out there is just because, like, I don't know. Like, I don't think I say anything controversial or anything wild. But it's still that thing of, I do want that separation of, like, yeah, me being me, putting myself out there on the internet is fine and dandy. My friends and, like, family don't really ask for that so I do talk about my family but I do try to keep it vague enough where I talk about details but I try to avoid like say my last name like is it that big of a deal no but it's just like a personal choice I've always had about this like my, me putting myself out there on the internet it's just my, my choice I don't want to drag other people into it so that's always why I've had my hesitation of putting my last name out there but it's like the thing of like I don't try and hide who I am I kind of embrace who I am and that's kind of what this channel's always been about it's kind of embracing myself in many facets like I said I used to talk about myself a lot more on this channel um, and I still do I sprinkle it in here and there when I'm trying to make anecdotal connections between me and maybe like a TV show like oh I resonate with this because of X Y and Z in my personal life type of situation but I used to do a lot more videos about like oh this is me and get to know me kind of don't do them anymore because why because I'm boring and I don't have any interesting aspects about me even the things that are slightly interesting that I used to kind of talk about in videos they're boring like I'm a boring dude so there's nothing to tell about I'm not an interesting person so I just stopped doing that and just focus purely on the nerdy stuff like I said every once in a while I do so equate someone like my I still bleed a little bit of my personal life into like my nerdy discussions and so and so forth kind of like a this video is kind of blurring that line right now but and it, the whole conversation like I said it's just kind of been about me wondering would I ever change my username and I kind of like no like I it's not like I said I am I'm 31 and it's not like I'm like oh my god I feel so bad about this name I came up when I was 20 I was like no I still like your nerdgasm I, I mean I never actually 
actively think about it. I'm just kind of like, it is what it is. It never, like I said, I've only ever had two people bring it up, my username up, so it never really crosses my mind of like how that might sound or appear to other people. It's just never come up before, so I never think about it. I'd love to kind of get your thoughts about it. Like in general, like anyone that's coming across this, have you come across um, any YouTubers that you've followed over the years for them to kind of rebrand and kind of maybe they had like a specific username and now they've kind of gone away from it they used their own name type of situation i mean like i said there's examples of it but i've seen like most youtubers i've followed over the years have still used their i mean because some have always used their name you know maybe like part of their name is part of their username a mix with like another word or maybe it's always just been their name whatever the case may be so but there are plenty of people who still like use their um mod their use youtube moniker and have not kind of fully rebranded as like oh this is just me you know so i think that's such an interesting conversation i mean like obviously there are exceptions where it's like i'm talking about more so like on the individual case because there's so many youtube channels where it's like well can't really rebrand as a like a, just our name considering like maybe you're like there's a lot of youtube channels that are multiple people um or like you're a, you're a group or you're a company so you know not in that case but like in the more like individual like you're just kind of a solo creator type of situation so like i said I, i'd love to know your thoughts about that and your experiences with coming across creators like that and I, I mean if you want to you could also add your opinion out there of like would you i mean I'm, I'm sure it doesn't matter to most people but i'm I'm so curious would you would you think it'd be weird if i were to like at some point change my username to like my my actual name or something like that like does it need to be your nerdgasm because that's actually a lengthier conversation too because my, my dream has always been i would want your nerdgasm to be more than just me this channel has been me since its inception. It's always been me. Everything up here, my thoughts alone, my words in any video that I've kind of put out there. I'm the one editing everything and stuff like that, right? But I've always thought like, oh, I would want your nerdgasm to be a production company eventually at some point in time. I would like to like make like and make animations and write stories that's always kind of been a goal and a dream of mine i've talked about that i don't talk about it a lot i kind of keep that to myself a lot but that's always been my thing of like i would want it to be yes that's like far off and it will probably most likely no most definitely never happen and that's okay but that's just always been my wow dream of what i would want this youtube channel to eventually build out into and like oh would i be the type of person that's like okay so if it did what for whatever reason blow up and become something bigger would i want it to if i wanted to kind of make this a more production heavy thing like would it be like would i be okay with your nerdgasm being the branding for what i do reviews and discussions about nerdy topics sure but if i wanted to like you know uh produce like an anime or like write, write an anime and like have someone animate it so on and so forth type of situation right like would i be fine with your nerdgasm being the branding that's kind of a conversation that I don't really think about a lot. And part of me thinks maybe then I would rebrand. Probably not as my name, but probably as something else. But like I said, that's just because in my head, your nerdgasm, I would want it. I've always wanted it to be more than just me, but it's just currently me. And maybe it'll always stay that way. You know, if it does stay that way, I'm perfectly fine with that just being my niche little thing online. But if I ever do manage to make it something more, that'd be pretty awesome in itself. Like I said, I just, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. But really, that's all I want to talk about. So the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and good